To what extent should we teach nutrition in schools? How important is teaching nutrition to kids? The answer is very important. And why? The past three decades, there has been an alarming rise in childhood obesity. Poor eating habits have become accepted as normal eating habits. Early nutrition education is one of the best ways to help children learn about healthy choices and healthy eating. So I'm here with an exercise physiologist major Joe Blatchley, who has taken nutrition courses, and I'd like to know your standpoint in nutrition and education. Do you think it's important for children to learn more in-depth nutrition earlier in life? Yes, I do actually, because growing up I always wanted to know what to eat and what not to eat. And the extent we learned about <laughs> the extent we learned about nutrition in school is simply the food pyramid. There's so much more to, to learn about nutrition than if kids actually learned about it more in depth at a younger age, they would be less likely to grow up with a chronic disease like hypertension, high cholesterol, osteoporosis, cancer, and coronary heart diseases. These are so easy to prevent because the major risk factors of these diseases come from improper nutrition and from being sedentary. If we just had a healthier diet and exercise, Americans would be much healthier as a whole. Turns out what Joe said is true. Looking at just osteoporosis alone proves his point. 50% of children in America get less than 400 milligrams of calcium per day, while the FDA recommends 1,200 milligrams per day for strong, healthy bones. This means 50% of children are getting less than one-third of the needed amount. Inadequate amounts of calcium leads to osteoporosis. If calcium intake is not sufficient, or if the body does not absorb enough calcium from the diet, bone production and bone tissues may suffer. The bones become less dense and more susceptible to breakage. In fact, in people with osteoporosis, bone fractures often occur with very little stress. Osteoporosis occurs gradually during aging and is more prevalent in women. Osteoporosis could be avoided by building strong bones prior to age 30 which would be useful information to the 1 out of 2 women and 1 out of 4 men who will suffer osteoporosis after the age of 50. So remember, what you learn about nutrition at a young age has a great impact on your future health, which is something the kids in this Got Milk commercial will soon learn. Drink your milk, kids. I don't want milk. Milk's for babies. Yeah, babies. Oh yeah? Well, I happen to know that milk helps build strong bones, so drink up. Well, Mr. Miller told me he never drinks milk. Look at him. Yeah. Hi, kids. Mm. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Got me.